Wouldn't it be nice to have several thought leaders in your industry know and love your brand? Start a podcast. Invite your industry's thought leaders to be guests on your show. And start reaping the benefits of having a network full of industry influencers. Learn more at sweetfishmedia.com. You're listening to B2B Growth, a daily podcast for B2B leaders. We've interviewed names you've probably heard before, like Gary Vaynerchuk and Simon Sinek, but you've probably never heard from the majority of our guests. That's because the bulk of our interviews aren't with professional speakers and authors. Most of our guests are in the trenches leading sales and marketing teams. They're implementing strategy. They're experimenting with tactics. They're building the fastest growing B2B companies in the world. My name is James Carberry. I'm the founder of Sweetfish Media, a podcast agency for B2B brands, and I'm also one of the co-hosts of this show. When we're not interviewing sales and marketing leaders, you'll hear stories from behind the scenes of our own business. We'll share the ups and downs of our journey as we attempt to take over the world. Just kidding. Well, maybe. Let's get into the show. Welcome back to the B2B Growth Show. I'm your host for today's episode, Logan Lyles, Director of Partnerships here at Sweetfish Media. I do not have a guest on today's episode because we are starting a new series where you're going to hear from me as well as some other members of our team, especially James and I will collaborate on some of these episodes together. We are starting a new series called How to Podcast, and we are going to be breaking down a lot of the lessons that we've learned in multiple years of having a daily show producing this show right here, B2B Growth, as well as podcasts for our clients and breaking down a lot of the common questions we get from our clients, from new prospects and folks hitting us up on LinkedIn about podcasting questions. So with that, let's jump right into a common question I'm getting a lot from prospective of customers who are thinking about a podcast for their brand. And it's basically this, how do we develop a content strategy for our podcast? You know, a content calendar can be really daunting, whether you're thinking about a podcast, a webinar series, uh, your blog, whatever the case may be, thinking and planning out a content calendar and maintaining that content calendar. I know a lot of marketers can see that as overwhelming and, and definitely a daunting task. But we've found that there's actually an easier way that can be wildly effective and actually less time consuming when thinking about the content strategy for your podcast. It's actually an idea that I think to some will probably sound too simple to actually work. And it's basically this, ask your guests what they want to talk about. So let me unpack that a little bit. And I think it probably makes sense to back up a little and explain how we help our clients launch their shows and think about the direction of their shows. I think this will provide some really good context. So when we launch a new show for our clients that we're going to be producing a podcast for, we try to think very hard about their ideal customer profile and their specific buyer personas. And we work with our clients to make sure that these components inform the name of the show, the branding, the themes, even the iTunes description of the show, because it makes it very easy to invite your ideal clients to be a guest on your show when it's abundantly clear from everything about your show that you're covering topics that are specific to their world, to their niche in the market. So let's break this down. This is how we do it for B2B growth. When someone responds and says, sure, I would love to be a guest on your podcast, we let them know that our show is all about B2B sales and marketing. It's fairly obvious from the name of our show, going back to that strategy as well. But we let them know that. And then we respond with something along the lines of, we allow our guests to actually determine the topic for their episode, as long as it falls under this general theme of B2B sales and marketing. So we've given them kind of some guidelines, but some freedom in between there. Now, what helps here is giving them a little bit of direction. And the way that we do it is we mentioned something like this. We find that when our guests have a subject that's particularly top of mind or especially a passion for them, that it makes for really great content. So given the theme of this show and something that might be top of mind for you, what would you be interested in discussing? 
Once they respond, we ask for three to five talking points under that topic that they've provided. Now, this is also a really important step because it allows you to pull out some granularity so that the guest comes thinking with some specific talking points, maybe a story or an example or two. And that granularity is really going to make your episodes much, much more valuable for your audience, especially if you have you know shorter episodes like we do in the 10 to 20 minute time frame, typically on a daily show of B2B growth. We want to make sure that we have some tangible takeaways as much as possible. So this framework not only allows you to pull an overall topic from the subject and and get that out of them, but also gives you a repeatable process to create some granular framework around the interview without a ton of effort. So you can ask that in an email beforehand, or you can use this framework of uh, drawing out three to five talking points pre-interview as you're discussing the interview flow before you hit record once you have the guest on the line the day of the interview. So that's really the strategy that we employ as we book guests for our show and for the shows of our clients oftentimes. And as I mentioned before, it's a very simple strategy. It's a very repeatable strategy, yet we found that it's wildly effective. We're coming up on 800 episodes on B2B growth. Our show now, you know, thankfully is one of the top ranked podcasts in B2B sales and marketing. So we've seen through drinking our own champagne, if you want to go to that analogy, that it is is a very simple strategy, but it's also very effective. And we found that it really does two things. Going back to that idea of a content calendar, again, it can be a a lot of time, a lot of brain damage to craft an intricate, detailed content calendar, and then to keep up with that content calendar, right? So this eliminates a lot of that time and, and headache and frustration that you might be thinking or experiencing with other campaigns or thinking about man, how do we get started with a content calendar for a podcast? The other thing it does is it actually crowdsources your content strategy. So by offloading some of this thinking, it's not actually a bad thing because you're putting that thinking on your ideal client, on your guests that you're inviting. So if they're coming up with something prompted by you that is top of mind and important for them to discuss, they're part of your target audience. So odds are the rest of your target audience will find it valuable as well. So that is the strategy. Hopefully this is helpful for anyone listening to this and breaks it down. Something that seems kind of daunting and overwhelming when it comes to launching and maintaining a podcast. So hopefully this was useful. Uh, Tune in if you would like to find more of these episodes. Uh, Just look for the hashtag how to podcast at the beginning of the episode description in Apple Podcasts or whatever podcast player that you're using. And definitely feel free to reach out to me. I'm very active on LinkedIn. Send me a message there or email me directly, logan at sweetfishmedia.com. We want to make sure that this series is as informative and valuable for folks out there. So if you have a specific question or topic that you would like us to cover in this series, please let me know. Until next time, we'll see you again here on B2B Growth. Becoming a thought leader doesn't just happen. If you want to build a strong personal brand and extend your reach online and offline, you need a plan. Want help developing yours? Check out Impact Summit. This one-day event is bringing together best-selling authors, professional athletes, influential CEOs, and emerging entrepreneurs, all for one purpose, to equip you to lead, influence, and inspire. Whether you're looking to build a lasting legacy with your business or extend the reach of your brand, Impact Summit speakers will share inspiring stories and practical lessons to help you on your way. Did we mention a session on launching and growing a podcast? You guessed it. You'll hear from Sweetfish Media's own James Carberry during that session. You won't want to miss all of these influencers and leaders coming together in Salt Lake City on October 13th. Ready to learn more? Check out influencerinc.co slash impact summit. B2B growth listeners can get 15% off the price of their tickets for this event by using the promo code SWEETFISH. S-W-E-E-T-F-I-S-H. 
SH. So use that code, get your tickets today, and get ready to grow your brand and your influence at Impact Summit 2018.